been a while since I've done one of these, it's time for a mini manga haul. So I've got about 20 or so volumes here which I've managed to get over the past about month and a bit. A couple of them, if you have seen my 5 and 5 manga, which I'll link up on here, we have One Punch Man, Volume 1 and Volume 2. The anime, I absolutely love. I love Saitama, he is a great hero class character, as in that he doesn't even know what the hell he's doing half the time. The way he got his abilities to be a hero is absolutely crazy. When he tells other people how he got so strong, no one believes him at all and thinks that he's done something else to get to there. Uh, like I said, I've got a badge up there with 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, 10k run every single day. And you've seen loads of people online who've actually tried this and you saw some amazing results, but of course nothing on the line of the power and abilities that Saitama gets. But at the same time, he's a complete and utter klutz and it's, it, it's an amazing series and I'm hoping the manga is going to be exactly the same. I have heard very good things about it. I'm not going around to reading it yet, but looking at it, I just love the artwork and especially the difference between Saitama and other things that go around. This is like Saitama's normal kind of pose until he gets serious and it goes and cha all changes. But it is such a cool little series. A few spoilers if you haven't seen the series before. Saitama, he becomes a hero without actually realizing it. Uh, even though it's kind of like Hero Academy kind of thing, kind of a little bit like My Hero Academia, but on a completely different level. There is like a hero association in that sense. But he goes around and he's taking out all these big monsters and everything, of course, in one punch. And he doesn't even get credit for it, he doesn't care, he's just doing his normal day thing, they come along, he takes them out, gets a little bit frustrated that he's not have anyone who can match him, no one to really have a proper fight with. This was recommended to me a little while back, and that is Assassination um, Classroom. Still haven't got around to reading it yet, I have been reading some of the other ones here, as well as some of the ones I still got from Christmas. With work being the way it is and how busy it's been, I uh, only get maybe a couple hours a week at the moment of reading manga, which is a shame because I am really enjoying it. So I've got the sticker around with me name <laughs> of the guy person you to send it to. <laughs> so the idea of Assassination Classroom is that they have this teacher who has essentially destroyed the moon, uh, destroyed quite a bit of the moon anyway, and is threatening to, to destroy the earth if one of the people in the class don't take him out beforehand. And he's this weird tentacle creepy monster who looks like he could potentially be from a head tie or something like that, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was something out there. But the look of this manga and what I have heard of it, I've not seen the anime yet, I really do want to get around to seeing that. Now some of the other ones coming up are a lot of nostalgia. So if I grab these three here, and that is Dot Hack, Legend of the Twilight. There's my little bookmark in there, I have actually just finished reading it. Cool little dragon bookmark. Like which one, um, um, bamboo. I got it when I was over in Japan a few years ago. Uh, over in Kyoto, we went round one of the bamboo forests. We went round and a little gift shop near the end around it. Managed to pick that up. I love that little bookmark. But yeah, Dot Hack, the full set, volumes one, two, and three. Volume three is a lot bigger, it's a bit of a chunkier boy. But I'm looking forward to getting through these. See, so red volume one. I saw the anime way back in the day. I've been, I mentioned previously, I've been watching anime on and off for about 20 or so years. Uh, back when I was about 14, I think when I started to get into it a little bit more, when a friend started showing us bits, and I went, oh, I've seen something like this before on late night TV. And didn't really see much from there afterwards until just like Digimon came on. But from there, one of the very first seasons I watched was Dot Hack, which is based around this virtual world called The World where anything is possible uh, and you have these main two people Shogo and Rena who have won a competition and they've got these dot hackers legendary hackers outfits who were meant to save the world or unlock the mysteries of the world at one point and now they're taking on that role of the heroes Shogo doesn't really care too much for playing games anymore but his sister gets him into it and then he gets a little hooked and it's just a really nice series I'm looking forward to reading the other two volumes so far. Volume 1, there's so much nostalgia in from watching that series back in the day. It has been awesome. We've got one of my favourite manga series I've been reading lately, and that is Rise of the Shield Hero, Volume 14. I know Volume 15 is now out, 
Unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait till next payday in order to get hold of that. But I love this series. I'm unsure if they're getting a second series of the anime. I think they might do because it's one of the one of the that actually has became quite popular. Including there is a spin-off now of this manga called I think The Rising of the Shield. Not the Rising of the Shield Hero. <laughs> the Rising of the Spear Hero. And that's like a little spin-off which I've not got hands on just yet. But I will definitely be looking into that. And as I mentioned previously when I've opened the other holes of Rising the Shield Hero, this is the first time that I've actually read for example, a manga which is actually ahead of the anime, so I'm getting to see things that I've not seen in the anime yet. And it is, it's actually really cool that way to be fair. I know for a fact when the anime comes out, if it does come out for that season, for these other volumes, they're going to of course elaborate on it more, there's going to be more action to it, and you're going to be able to see the difference between the manga and the anime. But I'm not going to be, I don't think I'll be one of the people who are going to go, oh the manga is always better, going to be better. Manga is great, and I think just seeing it in the animated format is just going to be just as great. Blackbird was a strange one for me. Uh, not too long ago, uh, my wife's mum picked us up from the local library. We were selling some stuff off. There was like three books. We got volume six, nine, and ten of Blackbird. It's, unfortunately, it's got the, the library cover on it, but it's got them like ten pence each. And I couldn't just start reading volume six. It just it wouldn't make sense what's going on in the story. So I picked up volume one for only a few quid and it's actually in really decent quality decent, decent order i've read through it it is a shoujo um not what i normally kind of read so it's based around this character misao and ryu ryu kyo i think it's kyo is it kyo is that a kyo yeah it's kyo if i'm saying that correctly and we were friends when they were little but unfortunately she doesn't remember much about him other than that she really misses him and he promised that one day he will be back to see her again as he moved away. Just a quick, quick little spoiler just so you know for coming ahead. He's a demon. And she's always been plagued by being able to see these creatures around her. But as she's getting older and older and approaching her 16th birthday, they're getting more and more intense. Kyo does turn back up again. And the story ensues of all these other little demons are trying to get to her because she's got one of these special bloods. Uh, that can kind of revitalize and rejuvenate, extend the life and be good for all the different demon clans that get a hold of her. It kind of seems that there's like a lot of quite fan surface in it, I guess you could say. It's not quite nudity and things like that, but there's a lot of like the character once she gets injured, Cure will lick her wounds and that will help heal them, but still stain him a little bit. So it's a little strange. It's not, it's in massively hookers. But I'm still willing to give it another try. I've got a couple of volumes upstairs. I have now read this from my five and five manga review. Speed Graffer, another one of them nostalgia ones. There's a lot of nostalgia in this manga bundle, to be fair. It's one of them old ones when I was really starting to get back into me anime and binging loads and loads of different shows. Speed Graffer sounded really weird, a photographer with this weird ability. It did get us hooked straight away. And the manga does not disappoint in comparison to what I recall from watching the anime itself. The style of the characters match perfectly, the artwork is amazing, the explosions, the, the way this all has worked out from what I remember. It, it's, it's, I'm actually really enjoying it. I know, unfortunately it's one of them ones that's going to be a lot harder to collect because uh, I believe it is out of print. Well, it is out of print. It's Tokyo Pop. All Tokyo Pops are out of print. Cold Sept Volume 1 and 2. I've now read Volume 1. It is based upon a game for the PlayStation 2 and Dreamcast back in the day about these people called captors who are going around finding these legendary cards of kind of power and because if everyone gets them all together they can be granted the, the power of a god. So there's normally lots of like battles between people using the cards, they've got defense cards and monster cards and all this kind of thing. It's really cool. I am enjoying it so far. It ended on a bit of a cliffhanger, this one. So I did go, go straight out and get volume two. At the moment, they're actually still pretty cheap. Even though they are out of print, I'm getting them, picking them up for a few quid each, maybe five quid at most. And it's the old style of artwork as well. You can see from being so long ago, I really like this old style. Pandora Hearts. Heard really good things about this. Haven't got around to reading this one yet. I got sidetracked by Speed Graffer and now ha um, Dot Hack. But I am looking forward to reading into this a little bit more. I don't, like I say, before, I don't fully know what it really is about. I haven't bought the volumes just yet because I want to be able to read this, see if I get hooked in any way, 
and then go from there. Managed to get myself a hold of this. This is a full complete set, which other than my full metal panic complete set, this is gonna be my second fully complete set of manga. And again, like I said, this is more of a nostalgia one and this is no difference. It's not quite in order, but there we have it. Buso Renkin. The whole concept of it is the main character, he thinks he's dreaming, dreaming, but at school they get these days, there's a big abandoned warehouse factory not too far from the school and it's meant to be haunted and things like that. And one day he hears something happening and he has screams, so he goes running to it, finds out this creature is attacking this uh, young girl. So instinctively out of nowhere, he just dives in between. He gets stabbed, he thinks he's dead, wakes up back in his own bed like it was nothing, so he thought it was all just a dream. So yeah, she replaced his heart with this item called a Kagugane. Kagugane? Can't quite say that right. I had to double check the back of it just to make sure as well. Uh, this also grants him powers and abilities. Yeah, he gets like a, a weapon from it and he's able to attack and fight all these other monsters which are humon um, homunculus, homunculi. Uh, which all, and there's this one main guy who is weird and he's one of them ones where you see it in the anime that he's wearing skimpy clothes, thinks he's awesome and gorgeous and amazing, he's flaunting his stuff around. Seems, I can't quite explain it, I really can't. But if I find this volume here, it is this guy here. So I can find some of the stuff that he kind of wears. Crawley in here looks really cool. Very cool. Yeah, he gets the parts like that, where all these clothes smash off. <laughs> so there we go, there's my manga haul for the past about six weeks. 23 volumes, I do have another couple of like volumes ordered online at the moment, for Jack and so for a couple of which I'm going to try out. It might not be the biggest haul out there going, I know there's loads of amazing people out there doing crazy manga hauls. Uh, you got Cake Tins Manga, Himiko, uh, Geeky Dreams, all these people doing really nice, awesome big hauls and I've got a massive collection. Unfortunately, I do collect a lot of different things. I uh, really do like me figure collecting, me pop finals, uh, as well as all my little bits of merchandise, badges and stuff like that, getting me mystery boxes and things like that. My money is spread a little more, but I don't mind. It means I've got a variation of content to all share with you and enjoy both manga, anime, merchandise and collectibles, which is what this channel's all about. But definitely keep an eye out for more manga hauls coming in the future. I'm hoping later on down the line, I'm going to be able to get stuff like Bleach Box Set 1. I want to try to get maybe One Piece the Box Set 1, version 1. Even Akira, I would love to get the Akira box set. That would be pretty cool to get. Uh, but one I do have my eyes on at the moment is Claymore. Another nostalgic series. Love the series back in the past. Hoping they manage at some point to get that big box. I think it's 22 or 24 volumes, which would be awesome. My name's been Daniel. This has been Twisted Geek. Hope you have an awesome week. Cheers. Which one to read next? Manga, 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 manga. Ip, dip, ip, dip. This one, this one, this one, this one. Yeah, I'm just going to go with volume two of Dot Hack, I think. Definitely finish that series off first.